In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel Andres from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for September 22, 2019, according to St. Luke. And he was saying also to his disciples, A certain man was rich, who had a steward, and this was the charge brought against him, as squandering the possessions of him. And having called him, he said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Render the account of your stewardship, for you are not able any longer to be a steward. And the steward said within himself, What may I do? Because the Lord of me takes away the stewardship, the stewardship from me. To dig, I am not strong enough. To beg, I am ashamed. I know what I may do, that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses of them. And having summoned each one of the debtors of the master of himself, he was saying to the first, How much do you owe to the Lord of me? And he said, One hundred baths of oil. And he said to him, Take your bills. And having sat down, quickly write fifty. Then another to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? And he said, One hundred measures of wheat. To he, he says to him, Take your bills and write eighty. And the Lord praised the steward on righteous, because he acted prudently, because the sons of this age are more wise than the sons of the light in the generation of themselves. And I say to you, make for yourselves friends from the wealth of unrighteousness, that when it fails, they may welcome you into the eternal tents. The one faithful in little, also in much is faithful, and the one being in little unfaithful, so is unrighteous in much. If then with the unrighteous wealth you were not faithful, who will give you or will entrust with you the true riches? And if with the things belonging to another you were unfaithful, who will give you your own? No slave is able to serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other one, or he will be devoted to one and will despise the other. You are not able to serve God and wealth. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Write down fifty, fifty barrels of oil. What does that mean? The Lord is talking to his disciples, not to the people. His disciples are to be his stewards, not the owners of the sacraments but rather the stewards of his mysteries. For the mysteries remain his. It is a heresy to say that just because you do the things and you use the material, as they wrote, the sacrament is to be done right away. That's a heresy. Because I know for certain, and it goes against sacred scripture. The Psalms say, you abhor the liar, you abhor the wrongdoer. So how is the liar and the wrongdoer going to appear before God and ask his mercy from him to be given to you? If he abhors him, if he will just make him disappear from the face of the earth, especially the priest that is unfaithful. So it is not true that we are, as priests, the owners of the sacraments. It is not true that we have the power in our hands. That's absolutely nonsense. You would, it would be so clear for you if you ever you went to an Orthodox Divine Liturgy and you see what happens in the altar, then you would understand that it's always God, the one that is granting us, even the flesh, the body, the blood sacred of the Lord. What is the oil? The oil 
is the mercy of forgiveness. Again, it's a heresy and it goes against sacred scripture to say that we priests are the judges that will either save you or condemn you because we have the power to do that. It is not. It is always God who is granting that. But we as a steward, just as it is written here today, we are able to intercede for you to be forgiven. That is what the Lord is even telling His disciples. Do the same as that wise steward did. It's not against the Master. It's not against God to be merciful. It is good for us to become merciful. Even with unrighteous wealth, as He says. How much more with what pertains to God? Understand that, dear brothers. Pray that all of those who have been called to priesthood turn back to Him, look for Him in conversion, turning around, going to Him, being faithful, that we may also be able to grant you, to help you be granted mercy and lead you into the way of salvation. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.